Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Super excited today to bring you the LEGO EV3 soap dispenser. Ooh. Man, this thing is awesome. Ah. I ended up having to get an infrared sensor so that this thing can operate. So if you want to see it, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so there's a super huge connection between what we're going through right now and this robot right here. So this is basically a hands-free soap dispenser. I don't need to touch the soap dispenser and push it down to get the soap out. This robot does it for me. So basically, this infrared sensor right here will basically see my hand and then it'll activate the motors to push the soap out. So let me show you how that looks. Okay everybody let me give you a, a look at this guy. There's the infrared sensor. I initially um, had this thing at the bottom here but I didn't have a soap that was tall enough for these motors to reach. So I had, actually had to build myself a little platform because we just have the smaller soaps. But you know, I do have like a lotion that's a pretty tall one, so I would actually take this out. And you know, so it's just one of those things where you can modify this to how big the soap is. You know, if it's short, then you just kind of raise it up. Um, I was thinking initially about lowering this, but it ends up messing with the motor mechanism down here. So I thought, eh, it would be wiser just to build a platform and raise it up. So basically, here's how this would work. I'll go ahead and show you the soap in a second. But when you start the program, this infrared sensor is going to basically look for your hands and then we'll watch these motors basically lower to push the soap down here. So let me just... So that's basically how we're going to get the soap out. So now let's get some soap in there and see how this works in real life. Okay, so here we go. Look how perfectly that soap fits in there. So now you can see what I mean by the soap was way too short uh, to fit into this um, build. And I left you guys the building instructions link down below in the description. So you can see the issue here though. Um, I had to actually make an extension here because the mechanism, the motorized mechanism was actually getting stuck right in here and it wasn't able to push this down because it was getting stuck right here. So I had to add this on to push the top down. And yeah, this guy's ready to go. Let me show you how this works. Okay, guys, we're all set to go. Check this out. Woohoo! And that's what we mean by no touch. Yeah. Perfect. What I'm going to do is basically put my hand underneath the sensor and then quickly move it underneath the nozzle. So here we go. Beauty. Okay guys, so there you have it. This guy is so cool. Um, for those of you that teach robotics, this would be the perfect way to connect robotics and what's going on in our world right now. And then you come up with some ideas with how do you, you know, help the situation out. You know, you can talk about, hey, there's less people touching the soap now. And then open up different avenues for, you know, other ideas, whether it be in hospitals and, you know, how robotics can just help out the spread by, you know, making it so that people don't have to touch certain things. So that's what we talk about all the time in robotics is how do we get robots to do things that, you know, we normally would do, but, you know, we want to either stay safe, we, we, maybe we don't want to be in danger. So robots are super resourceful and able to do things that, you know, could cause humans harm or just making life easier for us. So it's a great project to open up that discussion and then students now are starting to think, hey, what else? is going on today. Can there be a robot that presses the crosswalk signal? Is there a robot, you know, that can 
do other things that we're touching that now we don't have to touch and makes it a little safer for us. So it's a great robot. One more time, check the description for the building instructions link. It's so cool. Remember the modification about the height. And you know, you can use it for anything. You can use it for hand lotion, as long as it fits within that compartment. So obviously you might have to do what I did and make some modifications. So hopefully you guys love the soap dispenser. It's really cool. I was thinking, hmm, should I leave this thing out? But you know, I'm sure you thought, hey, do you just leave your brick on the whole time? But then, you know, you can think of plugging it in because, you know, right next to my sink, I have that outlet there. You know, there's possibilities, but uh, I think I might retire this guy. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still safe and healthy. I am Mr. Hino from Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out and we got this. We got this. We got this. We've got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.